In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to add drop shadow to the worksheets in a dashboard using containers. So how we can do that? Let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. There are a lot of ways in which you can add drop shadows to the workbooks in the dashboard. But today I'm going to show you a simple and easy technique which you can use within Tableau and you don't need to go to any other external softwares like Canva, Figma or anything where you can create the backgrounds to create the drop shadow for any of the worksheets or any of the objects on the dashboard. So as you can see on this dashboard I have three different containers and I have created the drop shadow for each of these containers. So how we can do that? Let's see by simply creating a new dashboard. So I will create a new dashboard here and we can adjust the dimensions so in this case let's let's keep it like 1400 pixels by 800 pixel and we have three different sheets and first of all I will bring different containers so in this case I will bring a vertical container and first at the top I need another container so I will use horizontal container here and just put bring it on the top and I will bring the customer overview sheet here and you will see the sheet is created here and then I will bring another horizontal con container at the bottom and I will bring scatter plot and the customer rank field rank sheet here and I don't want this legend section so I will remove this container so you will see here we have now three different containers and I want to create the drop shadow for all these three so how I can do that? So first of all, I will bring another container just below this section and I will give the shading or the color which I want for the drop shadow. So in this case, I have chosen a little bit darker gray shade. And what I will do, I will simply select this worksheet and drag it into that container. Once I do that, you will see there is a border created around the worksheet. So when I select the worksheet, you will see here there is an outer padding of 4. I will reduce that to 0. And you will see that border is gone. But once I select this particular container, you will see there is no outer padding here. So I will do the outer padding of 10 in this case. And once I do that, you will see the border of the worksheet is a little bit inwards because we have added the container so if I select the container you will see this outer padding is added here and this is our worksheet and when I select this worksheet and I go to the layout you will see here there is no border and nothing selected here so what I will do I will go to the format title if you want to change the color for example I want the dark color I can choose that but in this case I will keep it white and the background of this worksheet here is showing as null but if I go to this worksheet and select the format section and go to the sheet the background is none in this case right so if I do none in this case you will see the background color from the container is coming which I don't want so I will keep it as white as well so it looks pretty good so now that we have the border and we don't have the shading here so I will simply select the worksheet and go to the outer padding and because it is all one from all the directions we don't want it that way I will keep it zero and once I do that you will see the border is gone but now we want the border and before the border I would like to add the outer padding just on the worksheet but not equal on all side I will do it like three on the right and three at the bottom so now if you see here, we have this particular drop shadow created, but we don't have the border yet. So I will click on the customer overview and select the border. So you will see it here. We have a scroll bar, so it doesn't look good. So I have to make sure we fit the entire view. So once we do that, you will see here a really nice 
drop shadow is created. Now you can customize more to do it for all other containers. You can bring a blank section here so we get a little bit of white space. And then you can do the same thing here by adding another container and another drop shadow for these two containers. So once you do that, you will see something like this. I hope you enjoyed this quick session. And for more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date with all of my videos. Thank you.